What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade your firmware from iOS 6.0.1 to 5.1.1. This is available for Mac OS X as well as Windows. Downgrading has become increasingly difficult here in the past couple of iOS firmware upgrades. This is due to AP tickets as well as SHSH blob. And essentially what those do is restrict your options to downgrade your firmware. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing is you need to be running an A4 device. Second off is you need to have saved SHSH blobs and that needs to be saved for iOS 5.1.1. Downgrading from iOS 6.0.1 to iOS 5.1.1 will once again allow you to have an untethered jailbreak using Absent. If you have met those requirements then you are able to proceed and downgrade your iPhone or your iPod Touch. Now those of you with newer devices such as the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5 as well as the iPad 3 and the iPad 4th generation and the iPad mini, you're going to have to sit tight because as of now there is no downgrading option but I will inform you as soon as the information is available. The first thing you're going to need to do is download Red Snow. Now this is version 0.915b3. You must also make sure that you have the firmware file that you're going to be downgrading to make sure that's handy which under most circumstances will be the actual 5.1.1 firmware. Now this tutorial in most cases are universal so if you're trying to get a firmware version other than 5.1.1 then just use that firmware instead. I'm going to have a link to Red Snow for Mac OS X as well as Windows down in the description. Download iPhone or iPod Touch firmware files. Next you will need to launch Red Snow and remember on Windows you're going to need to run this and launch it as an administrator. And for OS X Mountain Lion you will need to control click on the Red Snow app and then click the open option. Connect your iPhone or iPod Touch to your computer via a USB cable. You're going to need to place the device in DFU mode. You're going to need to hold down the corner power button for 5 seconds. Without releasing the power button, also hold down the home button for 10 seconds. Without releasing the home button, stop holding down the power button for 15 seconds. Now Red Snow should recognize your device in DFU mode. Next click the extras button, click the even more button, and then finally click the restore button. Next thing you're going to need to do is click the IPSW button, then select the firmware file that you're trying to downgrade to. Now very important here, if you have an unlocked iPhone, you're going to want to click yes on preventing a baseband update. Once you have done this, Red Snow will prompt you to enter the Pond DFU mode. Click the OK button followed by the next button. As you should already be in DFU mode, you will enter Pond DFU mode right away. And if not, just simply follow the on-screen instructions. When you are successfully in DFU mode, Red Snow will automatically try to locate your SHSH blob. If it fails, you can try to scan them again or locate them manually. Once the correct SHSH blobs are located, Red Snow will begin the downgrade process. Now when the restore process is complete, you're going to want to jailbreak your device untethered. Now upon following these instructions, you will be able to downgrade your iPhone 4, 3GS, or iPod Touch 4th generation. Now I'm going to keep you guys up to date as soon as the downgrading firmware is available for newer devices such as the iPhone 5, the iPad 3, the 4th gen iPad, and the iPad mini. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Well that's going to do it for me guys. I hope this was informative and helpful for you. If it was, please hit that thumbs up button. Also leave me a comment down below what you guys think about this downgrading firmware option. And if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be uploading plenty of quality content here in 2013. So make sure you're subscribed to be notified of the uploads. I will be one of the first people to introduce you guys into the jailbreak for the iPhone 5 and the iPad mini as well as the fourth generation iPad and iOS 6.0.1 in general. That's going to do it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. All the links that you will need to downgrade here in this video will be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.